You see, I've come to discover that uh, you cannot do the work of God and prosper with the devil's wisdom. It's not possible. You may have little results, and those results, the highest they can take you is to make you a local champion. But you can't do God's work with the wisdom of the devil and you will prosper. It's not possible. Now, take for instance, most of the ministries you see moving around the globe, having a lot of branches, they are truly called by the Lord. That's to show you that this thing has to be God. I've personally, I've not seen a ministry that is spreading around the globe in different nations, and yet they are false. And yet, maybe it, it is being sponsored by the devil. Even if there is, I'm sure the numbers cannot be as much as those who are truly following God. What does it mean? It means you cannot serve God with a dark wisdom. The highest the devil can take you is to make you a local champion. So, why don't you stay with God and get the right tools for the ministry? So that you will not labor for nothing. So that you will not just suffer for something that will not attract a reward at the end of the day. And the reason some of these satanic priests don't bother to you know, spread around is because most of them are not really after the gospel. They are after satisfaction. So if they have a big branch somewhere and they are getting millions every month, they are okay. Because initially, it's not about the kingdom of God. It's about their own satisfaction. So, since they are satisfied, they don't lack anything. So, what is the essence of spreading out? May you not serve God in ignorance. In the name of Jesus. When you truly carry the burden for the kingdom, you will know that it's not about your satisfaction. In the process of following God, of course, you will be satisfied. But you will know, even when you are satisfied, that it is more than just your own uh, personal satisfaction. Peter said, silver and gold we have none, but such as we have, such as I have, I will give to you. But now we have more, because we have silver and gold, and also we still have something in Christ. Can you see that? We have more, even we have more than the old, you know, the earlier apostles. So we have no restrictions. We have silver. We have gold. We have the power of the Holy Ghost. That's it. So we more has been given to us. And because of this, God expects more from us. May you not give God less when he has given you so much in the name of Jesus. Who is an unprofitable servant? An unprofitable servant is that one that is giving something less to God, even when God has given him much more. Are you there? That's it. May you be profitable in the name of